Hi, uh, I wanted to make a video to try and explain to people uh, who may be running into the same issues as me uh, of how to set um, your Boss RC600 so that way you can have different variations on each track for the, the drum pattern because in the way that I use it, and I'm sure a lot of people probably use it, is I like to record like a verse, a chorus, and then like a bridge or something like that. And for each one, it's nice to have like different drum variations just to give the songs more organic feel. Um, but in the menu system in this, it's kind of complicated to do. Uh, I have the Boss uh, 10R, or yeah, RC 10R over there. And it's pretty easy because all you got to do is basically just, you know, you go on to the next phrase or whatever and it automatically makes a new variation. Uh, with this, it's a little bit more difficult because you have a lot more control over it, but you also have to set everything up. So uh, I have some of my, pa my parameters set up, so I'm just going to show you here just to prove that it is possible at least. Uh, and then I'll show you how I did it. So... As you can see, in, we're in the rhythm thing, and when I click, I have my button set up, so uh, this is like just a stop-start. That's all it is. It doesn't record or overdub or anything uh, for track one, and the same is true for each each one that says stop is going to do the same thing, but track one, track two, track three. So this is just start-stop, start-stop, start-stop. That's all they are. Um, so when I go into this, it's going to switch, I believe, to A. See, we're on variation A now. I'll turn the volume down. So we're on A, and then when I gonna when I click to track two, it's gonna switch to D, I think. Yeah, and you can hear the the pattern change. So we'll go back to A. Yeah, we're on A, and then if I want to switch to track three over here. Yeah, and then we're on variation C. And then we'll just stop that. So the way to do this is kind of uh, deep in the menu system. So it's a little hard because it's on the screen. There we go. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to menu and you'll click, you, you can either, you know, scroll over or just hit menu again. But what you're going to want to do is go to assign and then uh, you can just go on to assign one just to keep things simple. Now, again, I have mine set so they go to whatever pedal is just assigned play stop if you want it to just go to the record play. I had some issues when it, with it was when it was on that because it's just like putting too much too many things on the kind of one pedal so sometimes it didn't change the variation that's why i have just the the start the play stop as my my second button here so that's the the one it's assigned to um for source mode you're going to want to do toggle uh toggle uh because you don't want it to just be moment at least for uh what i did and you're going to want sw on then what you're going to do there, just let it focus there. You're gonna scroll over here, and on your target, you gotta go pretty freaking far. There's a lot of targets, but you're gonna want to go to rhythm variation, and then you can go uh, target min, target max, and just set them to whatever variation you want on that specific uh, track. So since this is assigned one, and it's to uh, track one, I have it on A, and so. For track two, or assign two, you can see it's it's track two, uh, uh, play stop is the source, so that's this button here. Uh, again, SW on, toggle, and when I go all over one, um, it's going to be rhythm variation, and I have that set to minimum D, max D. And that's why when I click two, it goes to variation D. Um, now, if you want to set up your um, pedals, like how I have mine, because you're having issue, the same issues that I did, um, what you can do is to go to the control function, and in mode 1, 
this is where you have to make sure you cl click the right pedal. So pedal two is going to be this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is really cool. And this is what I like about the Boss uh, RC600 is it is totally customizable. The downside is there's so much you can really get lost in it if you don't know what you're doing. And I didn't. It took me a while to figure this out. Um, because I didn't find a real clear solution online. So as you can see, my two button here, I have it set so it is on track one, play, stop. And I also have it so if I hold it, it undoes and stuff like that. Um, and that's the that's the one I have. And I think by, by default, it's just on stop. That's all it does. So you just need to assign that. And then you can do that for four uh, and uh, six as well. So anybody who's having issues just trying to set up like drum tracks, uh, that's the easiest way I found to do it, and I hope this helps.